What's up guys and welcome back to Blue Jays today. Alec Manoa just had his first spring training start and I'm gonna be pretty transparent here guys. He got absolutely rocked. And of course after a start like that, a lot of fans are starting to worry if Alec Manoa is gonna bounce back or not. Before we get into the spring training start for Alec Manoa, I encourage you guys to hit the like button and subscribe to Blue Jays today if you enjoy news and content around the Toronto Blue Jays. And also, let me know how you're feeling about this Alec Manoa start. It was a tough one. All right, guys, let's talk about what happened. Alec Manoa only pitched one and two thirds innings and he gave up four hits, four earned runs, a walk, and most notably, he hit three batters. <laughs> Alec Manoa's command was all over the place. He was clearly trying to pitch inside, but he continued to miss, resulting in those three hit batters. And of the 38 pitches that he threw, only 17 of them were for strikes, resulting in a 48% strike rate. And after looking at all of that data, it's pretty understandable if you're upset. This is garbage! This is garbage! It just was not a good start for Alec Manoa, who had a lot of high hopes coming into spring training and probably would just want to hit the ground running with some good quality outings. But at the end of the day, folks, it is just spring training and you're not necessarily looking at the results, but instead you're looking at some positive growth. And I believe even though it was a very bad start, you saw a little bit of positive growth in Alec Manoa's outing. The one thing you can pull from this start is that Alec Manoa, his fastball velocity was looking pretty good. He was able to get that fastball up to 95 miles per hour, which last year, last spring training, he was nowhere near that number. Paraphrased by Keegan Matheson, Alec Manoa spoke after the game and he said he was very happy with his velocity despite the results. He felt last year he was chasing his velocity. Now that it's coming a lot more naturally, he can refine the control. And yes, clearly the command is something he's going to need to refine if he wants to have success in 2024. But that's why you got spring training. He's gonna go out there for another start, continue to find that release point on all of his pitches and hope to have success. But it's very important for Alec Manoa that he's gotta stick to a game plan each and every outing and that's what he did today what about hazel may alec manoa said his focus in this start was his slider he said to get that release point where we can throw it early in the count for strikes but not babying it either continuing to attack time for a quick shout out to betway betway is the best place to make all of your sports bets on all of your favorite teams betway is also in collaboration with iGaming ontario must be 19 years older to participate and guys please bet responsibly now back to the content this tells me that alec manoa is very focused on a clear game plan this spring focus on getting the release point back on your slider and the fastball release point down but he's not going to worry about aiming or guiding the pitch he's got to trust his stuff because the moment you start worrying about aiming your pitches in the zone is the moment you start losing velocity and you start falling behind and your pitches become very hittable when they are in the zone Alec Manoa is going to do the right thing and trust his stuff and hopefully have a better outing next time. In conclusion, guys, this is definitely not the outing that we were hoping for, but we got a long spring ahead of us. And if Alec Manoa is still hitting three batters every two innings by the end of spring training, then yes, feel free to hit the panic button, folks. But let me know what you guys think about Alec Manoa. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, go Jays go.